So we're looking at Tim Kellner, one of my favorite filmmakers. So make sure you go give Tim to the Wild a follow and go check out his YouTube videos. So when we look at his Instagram feed, we see one consistent color and that's purple, but he doesn't use it in every image, but just really accentuates it in his sunset shots or late afternoon shots. So we're gonna see if we can go about getting a color grade similar to this. And it's also the color grade he uses in most of his films. So let's jump into Lightroom and see what we can do. The first image we're looking at already has a lot of purple in it so a pretty ideal situation so we should be able to get through this pretty quick gonna really bring up the contrast and he keeps his image very much on the underexposed side so very low whites very low highlights and even pretty low shadows really bringing down the whites and the blacks as well we are going to bring up the vibrance slightly before we really bring down the saturation so saturation affects the image as a whole and vibrance affects the midtones so generally you want the midtones to pop just a little and onto the tone curve really bring down that white point Just a little bit of fade, his blacks are very dark. Right, moving on. So on to colors. And we are only gonna look at the saturation. So I'm gonna bring down the saturation of reds all the way. I'm gonna bring oranges down all the way and really bring down those yellows. Now, going down to what really creates this image. We could have just tried putting purple in with the tint and then a bit of warmth and cooling and we would have got somewhere with our image. It's what most people would have done, but the best way is to try to achieve this look with split toning. So what I'm gonna do put a lot of purpley red in the highlights and then a bluey purple in the shadows mainly just a blue and you can see that really gives us that look where he really takes out the oranges. You would have thought you'd keep the oranges in the sunset, but really takes them out. And coming down, gonna come all the way down. And he uses quite a bit of green. And then I'm going to top it off with some dehaze. So what he's tried to do in this photo is really uh, make the silhouette stand out. And we've lost our silhouette in our image because of the positioning. So what you can do is for his feet we might use a filter. As that's probably what he's done down here. What I'm going to do is slightly bring up the exposure. And then when you bring up exposure, you most often want to bring up contrast with that, otherwise it'll just look flat. Then I'm going to bring up the whites to add that punch. Bring down the blacks a little, and then feathering, I'm gonna bring it right up. So now we have 
a little bit of light down by his legs and you can now tell it's a person standing there but to take it a bit further get the brush make your brush reasonably small and just brush around the person and then what you want to do is bring up the contrast to try to separate him from the background and then you want to really bring up the shadows and then that doesn't affect the blacks as he's very black but the water behind him is pretty just a bit lighter as shadows rather than black so we're lifting up those shadows bringing them off the background so now we can kind of see him and to take it another step let's do the exact same with another brush because we couldn't lift our shadows any further so I've just grabbed a separate brush and I'm just going to do exactly the same and now we can kind of see our silhouette you guys can spend more time on it if you wanted, but I'm just going to show you what I would do. And we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to leave it as that. As you can see, he really desaturates his oranges. He takes the oranges out. So, so I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to save this. You guys call it what you want, but I'm going to call it Purple Sunset for now. And create. So, I have another image I want to do. So this one, out of the side of the train. And what I'm going to do is apply our Purple Sunset. And it looks pretty good. There's quite a few things we could do. So, I'm going to bring down the exposure a bit. Going to bring up the contrast even more as we look a bit flat. Keep those highlights down. I'm going to bring up the shadows as we can't see anything down here. And he always keeps his foreground pretty he could have probably brought up these shadows a lot more than we could have seen what was down here a bit easier but it's not what he commonly does whites can come up a bit so we get a bit more punch and blacks can come up a bit I'm going to bring clarity down a tad, just softens the image a bit, vibrance I'm going to bring down, and I'm going to reset the saturation as we have much more saturation than the previous image. So coming down, I'm going to reset all these colours. And then on the split turning, I'm going to make one adjustment in the shadows. So I'm going to put more purple in the shadows. As you can see, we've got a lot of blue. Bring it down to about there. And keep coming down. I'm going to put a slight vignette on it gonna bring the midpoint right down and feathering up I might bring up a tab, doesn't really matter. And 
dehaze I'm going to bring down a bit. And then I think we're still lacking a bit of purples, especially in the shadows. As you can see, a lot of purples. So what I'm going to do is put some more in there. So what I try to do, I could have put it in the tint, but I want to use this as the last resort, temperature and tint up here, because we don't want to save that into presets. You'll, you want your presets to do most of the work for you, but you don't save white balance into a preset. So only do that after you've tried everything else. At least that's what I do. Right, so I'm done with that image, I think. We are a lot brighter and more orange over here, but we can't do much about that. But he very, he just lights up the foreground enough so you can see what's in the foreground. He quite often does that, keeps his image very in the underexposed area. So I'm going to save this one as well. As I save all the presets I make and then I just if they don't work after a while or after I found my favorite out of the bunch then I'll keep those ones so purple sunset 2 and create so one more image sometimes he does include more oranges but very rarely so working with this one we're gonna apply the one we just made and we get closest but there's just a few quick things so I want to expose it right bring down the contrast and presets should do most of the work for you if you know how to expose your image right so get very good at working with your highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Bring down the vibrance. Keep the tone curve, keep the colors. Uh, split toning should be the same. Gonna come all the way down. Going to Get rid of the vignette by double clicking up here. Resets everything. Keep the grain. And I'm going to take down that dehaze. And the extra purple in the shadows. As we have quite a bit more blue in that one. So. Might just bring down those highlights a bit. And the whites. And again, he's using a lot of silhouettes, so you want to make sure she stands out well by having nice dark blacks. So, that's about it. Might quickly save this one as well. create and this preset pretty much can only be used on sunsets in that because that's the only real time I can think of when you see a lot of purple but it does look kind of cool in some other shots so this isn't exactly a sunset but I think it can be used in a few other situations So yeah, I quite like that image as well. And then if I quickly show you our before and afters, before, after, before, 
after. For after. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you go give Tim a follow on Instagram. Check out his YouTube channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. Comment down below, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.